It's the weekend and your stories today are Amazon announcements, the U.S. Treasury Department lists Bitcoin addresses and the SEC versus celebrities. Hello world, you're watching The Comment right here on ETH News. Earlier this week, online retail giant Amazon.com announced the development of blockchain-related services in a bid to offer customers a seemingly better way to store data and cut the cost of developing individual enterprise blockchain platforms. The Amazon Quantum Ledger database uses an unchangeable transaction log called a journal, which Amazon claims is better to track changes in application data and maintain an accurate and audible record of these changes. Amazon claims that by not requiring distributed consensus, QLDB is able to process more transactions faster than many blockchain platforms and will be compatible with the Amazon Managed Blockchain. By launching the Amazon Managed Blockchain, the retail giant hopes to entice business owners looking to implement blockchain technology to use its fully managed blockchain service instead of taking on the challenge and costs of building their own blockchain platform. Amazon claims that the new blockchain platform allows customers to easily replicate transactions from the blockchain and put them on QLDB. So now the question is, what is Amazon going to do with all that data? The U.S. Department of the Treasury Office of Foreign Asset Control included the digital currency addresses of two sanctioned individuals on its specially designated nationals list. OFAC specially designated nationals list identified individuals and companies owned or controlled by or acting for or on behalf of targeted countries. These can include suspected terrorists or drug traffickers. Those placed on the list have their assets frozen and U.S. citizens are generally prohibited from dealing with them. Traditionally, OFAC has listed identifying information such as names, aliases, places and dates of birth. This is the first time OFAC has listed digital currency addresses for sanctioned individuals, which can be seen as a warning to let the public know not to send funds to these specific addresses. Music producer DJ Khaled and undefeated professional boxer Floyd Mayweather are in hot water. The two entertainers promoted an initial coin offering without telling investors they were getting paid a promotional fee. According to a Securities and Exchange Commission announcement, the duel allegedly failed to disclose payments of hundreds of thousands of dollars for promoting the ICO. Mayweather failed to disclose a $100,000 promotional payment from Centra Tech Incorporated, while Khaled didn't disclose a $50,000 payment from the same company. Mayweather agreed to pay more than $600,000 in penalties, ouch, and Khaled will pay more than $150,000, though neither admitted to any wrongdoing in the settlement. The pair also agreed to not promote securities for three years to, and to cooperate with the investigation. I don't think either one of them will be promoting any ICOs anytime soon. And that is my comment for the day. It's time to tell me yours. Do you feel uneasy about the Amazon managed blockchain? Is the U.S. Department of Treasury sending a clear message? And will this move by the SEC serve as a warning to celebrities who wish to endorse ICOs? We're watching you guys. Let me know what you think. Find us on social media. Have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on The Comment to hear my take on the day's top crypto and blockchain stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like this video and share it with your friends on social media. To make sure you get all the newest episodes, click on the alert button. That's that bell looking button by the word subscribe. Follow me on social media at, at ETHNewsy. That's at ETHNewsy. And I will see you next time.